And welcome to the Wicker Library. My name is Leah. So happy to have you here with us today. I have recently come back from a trip to Europe, which was my first trip ever to Europe or the UK in general, and I had such a good time. I went there for a week. I went to London and I went to Leeds and I went to York and it was such a good time. I came back with quite a few books, even though I am on a book buying ban, I knew I would allow myself to buy books while in the UK because there are UK editions of books that I cannot easily get here in the US and I wanted to allow myself some souvenirs. So I came back with 10 books, which is definitely the most amount of books I've ever bought at once in a long, long time. So I will probably not be making any more book hauls uh, throughout the rest of this year. But these are some books that I recently bought that I haven't read yet and I'm so excited to. And yeah, let's just get into these books because I want to talk about them. I want to talk about the stores that I got them at and yeah, let's just get into it. So while in London, which was my first stop, we flew into London Heathrow and we stayed in London for two days and it was so much fun. I went to two different bookstores. I went to one independent, I think, bookstore that was really beautiful. It had all of these wooden staircases everywhere and it was definitely one of my favorites that I visited. I forgot the name but I will put it and I'll insert some clips of that travel day and that time. It was such a fun weekend. It was very hectic, very chaotic. We were doing a lot that weekend. We did some boat tours, we did some a lot of walking around, we did a lot of walking, but we saw the sights and we found this bookstore and it was also right next to a Waterstones, which this was one of the biggest Waterstones Ever, I think this is one of their big ones and it was a fun time it was a really large bookstore and we did go to a Waterstones later in the week as well somewhere else that I liked much more it was smaller and a little bit more well curated but I ended up getting three books while out in London and the first of which was by Ash Oak and Thorn by Melissa Harrison and this is a really sweet middle grade. It seems like it follows these little people, fairy creatures type things <laughs> and they awake from a slumber and they basically have to go on this adventure and I love the cover. This sounds so so warm and cozy and I'm just really looking forward to reading it. I love the foil on the cover and yeah this is one that I wasn't able to easily get through my library here and I knew I wanted to keep my eye out on it because I think it's one of at least it's through a UK publisher so it's a little harder to get over here but yeah I'm so excited for this. It sounds so sweet. It has this little squirrel on the back. That's just I'm just so ready for the energy that this book will bring. The next book that I got while out in London was Kiki's Delivery Service by Aiko Kadono and this movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is a Studio Ghibli movie. I have two videos now where I recommend books based off of Studio Ghibli films. If you want to check those out, you are welcome to. I'll link them above or below somewhere. And I didn't know Kiki's Delivery Service was based off of a book and I needed the book. It's illustrated as well. This edition of it is just so sweet. It has this little front 
where you can write your name in the book and it's just so pretty. I'm going to love it so much. I already know it. I already know it. There's no way that I won't. The final book that I got while in London was following on the Studio Ghibli train and that is How Do You Live by Genzaburo Yoshino and this one I've been recommended in the comments of those recommendation videos I've done and I think this was one of the books that inspired Miyazaki to create The Boy and the Heron which is one of you know it's his most recent film but it's also one of my favorites it was just so so good and if it didn't inspire that one it has just inspired Miyazaki in general it is also middle grade all three of these actually are middle grade stories and this one I think goes into grief oh by the way Kiki's Delivery Service is about a witch who starts like a bakery service but this one sounds like it's going to be very melancholy. It's a school story set in Japan in 1937 and it's blurbed by Neil Gaiman which is kind of a wild blurb. I feel like that kind of came out of nowhere but I'm very excited to get into this and honestly all three of these books feel very similar tone theme vibe so I might do a designated reading blog for them so let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing from me but yeah let's get into the rest of the trip. The next bookstore I went to wasn't technically a bookstore it was a craft store I believe and it was in Leeds. My friend I was visiting lives up in Leeds and so we spent most of the week over around there seeing the sights. We did a lot of walking yet again. We had some beautiful train rides that were really just so beautiful and fun. I love a good train ride. I'm I live in New York but I also uh, live in California sometimes. Not really anymore. I've, I've started to properly move to New York City but I'm from California and so public transportation and trains in general, not just the Metro North but also Amtrak, I'm just very used to and familiar with so it was really fun kind of going on the London Rail line. I don't, I don't know what it's called there actually I forget but it was a very fun trip and the first bookstore we went to had all these bargain books and I think I got this book for like four or five pounds which all of the books there have not inflated like they have here in the US so I got all of these books for such a reasonable amount and I I will never be able to buy books like this again but that was Murder Most Unladylike by Robin Stevens. This is yet another middle grade. <laughs> But this is a series of books that also has sprayed edges like Obsessed in Love. The UK do their covers better. I think there's no there's no debate here. But this one sounds really fun. It is a middle grade that follows these characters who set up a secret detective agency at a boarding school for girls. There are often not any real crimes to investigate and then there is a murder. And it sounds like such a good time. I'm getting a bit of Benedict Society feelings from this. It might just be the cover. I don't know what it is about it but I picked it up. I had a good feeling about it and I'm really really excited to go into it. The next book I think I also got at a Waterstones. It may have been the first Waterstones we went to. I kind of confused where I got books from and where but it doesn't really matter. I think I got this one in London. I kind of forgot to talk about it but that is the Delegate Dream Department Store by Mai Lee and this is translated from Korean. Also a lot of the books I showed in the first bit were translated from Japanese but this one sounds so fun. It's magical realism. It's a little bit wacky. It's a little bit weird. It talks about this department store that sells dreams and there's something that goes miss in it. I think something either is stolen or something goes missing. Something is wrong and it just sounds like a fantastic premise. It sounds very warm and comforting as well. There's definitely a theme to the books I was picking up, the books that I was looking for, and this one just sounds like so much fun. I'm also obsessed with the cover. I just cannot wait to dive into this one. 
So these next four books I did get at a Waterstones, and that was a Waterstones in Leeds, and this was my favorite Waterstones we went to. We only went to two, but this was just by far my favorite. The energy was so calm. There was such a nice little cafe in it. I know Waterstones is basically the Barnes & Noble of the UK, and I was trying to go to a good amount of independent bookstores as well, just because you know, it's always great to support independent bookstores as well, but Waterstones had just such a fantastic selection, and I knew that I don't know when the next time I'll be in the UK is, so I wanted to really experience that store, and I got four books. The first of which is one that I had my heart's set on getting, because the UK cover is just so superior. It had recently come out in paperback, and I just needed it, because this is just the normal paperback of this book. The spine? Guys, the spine. Look at that. This is just, this isn't a special edition. This isn't, this is just the regular UK paperback of The Adventures of Amina El Serafi by Shannon Shacklebordi. And this is a pirate novel. It's adult. It's fantasy. I hear it's rather humorous as well. There's adventure. There's banter. There's found family. There's pirates, if I didn't say that enough already, but yeah. Also, this cover is just a work of art. Like, I look at it. Just look at it, y'all. Like, anyway, yeah, I needed, I needed to get my hands on this one. The next book I found was another work of translated fiction, and I believe this is translated from Spanish, but this is Blood Red by Gabriela Ponce, and this cover is crazy like there's holes in it and then it's like the red it's so cool it's so cool i'm probably gonna have to put a trigger warning up for uh trypophobia because this book is i believe about trypophobia and the horrors of womanhood and it sounds gritty it sounds dark it sounds fucked up and twisted and that's the kind of shit i eat up you know like women going kind of insane and there's horror and there's desire and there's creepy shit happening there's blood happening um it just sounds like a great time and i'm so glad i found this i don't think i would have found it otherwise so yeah i'm really excited to pick this one up the next book i got is also translated and that is vladivostok circus probably butchering that pronunciation. I'm so sorry. And this is by Eliza Shua Dusepin. And this book also just looks so good. Like this cover is so wacky. I'm just so excited to read it. I know it's about a circus. I know there's like weird dolls kind of come to life. It sounds very surrealist, very trippy. And I believe it's translated from French. This one sounds really good. I don't know much about it going into it, but that's kind of how I enjoy to read my stories. The next book that I picked up, and the last one I picked up at a Waterstones, was Brutes by Diz Tate. I prefer this cover over the US cover. It's just, this is going to be on my summer TBR along with my next and final book I have to talk about, but this one goes over girlhood and obsession and just like the sticky grossness of desire and again girlhood and this just sounds very queer, very messy, very twisted and dark as well and it just sounds so good. It sounds like such a fun time and I'm so excited to get into it this summer. We've reached the final book and before I talk about the book I want to talk about the bookstore. The bookstore that I found this book at was so fun. It was a queer independent bookstore that had all queer literature in it. It was this pink bookstore from the outside. It was so cute. The uh, the person at the desk at the register was so kind, so sweet and helpful and it was by far my favorite bookstore that we visited. It was just such a good energy in there and the selection was wonderful. There were so many queer books that I, you know, had on my radar. There were US covers, there were UK covers, there were special editions, there was zines, there was just so many kinds of books and a lot of them I didn't know about either. And this one I did happen to know about though, which is Sunburn by Chloe Michelle Howarth. And this book is also on my 
summer TBR because of reasons very clear to you. And this takes place in the early 1990s in an Irish village and it also goes into girlhood and obsession and female friendships that go a little further than friendship and it just sounds like a fever dream and I'm so a bookmark fell out of it but I'm so excited to get into this book and I'll probably put out maybe a summer TBR at one point. I know it's spring. I know it just happened to be spring, like it just turned spring. And I do have a spring TBR, but I don't know if I'll share it because I don't know if I'll stick to it and I don't want to have people holding me to something that I know I won't follow through with. But yeah, this one is definitely going to be read this summer because just look at it. Look at it. Yeah, I had to get it. <laughs> also, this is the bookmark that fell out of that book. It's from the bookstore, which is called The Bookish Type, and it's a queer indie bookshop. This was a free bookmark, and it was so cute, and I just needed to show you all. So those are all of the books that I have for you all today. If you know of any of these books, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We would love to have you join the Wicker Library. We have a good time over here. And yeah, that was my little time in the UK and it was just, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful trip and I'm so grateful and lucky that I was able to go on this trip. I didn't think I would be able to like travel like this so serendipitously like there was a lot of planning that went involved obviously but for me that was way out of my comfort zone i'm a big homebody and i didn't really think i would be traveling all that much but traveling with my best friends was just so wonderful and i have so many good memories and books that came out of it so i hope you all enjoyed if you made it to the end of this video feel free to comment the stack of books emoji because my TBR has now like doubled and I am going to be spending the rest of the year dwindling it down and making sure that I stick to my book buying ban as well as read the books that were on my TBR first because those are the priority books even though I'm so excited to just dive into these new books I need to let them simmer on my shelves a bit because I need to read the other ones but I will see you all in the next video 